Many speculate the stock market is drastically overvalued, yet we know it's important to continue investing despite these circumstances. Unfortunately, this results in heightened risk and leaves people frantically searching for safe, undervalued investment opportunities. Prosperity Bank Shares Inc., stock ticker PB, is currently trading at a share price of $75.75, giving them a market cap of $7.039 billion. They have seen quite the run-up since September 20th of this year, trading just 8.76% below their 52-week high of $83.02. With an earnings call scheduled for October 27th, investors should be aware that there will most likely be some large swings in price to follow. Not only is this conveyed by recent price movements, as earnings reports are represented by the blue dots, but also the 52-week low of 52.56 and beta of 1.26, which suggests slightly larger price movements. Speaking of earnings, Prosperity Bank Shares, the regional bank operating out of Houston, has had impressive earnings reports over the past year, beating on all of their estimates and reporting an EPS of $5.72. These earnings have resulted in a P.E. ratio of 13.24 for Prosperity Bank Shares, which is a little bit on the high side, but does not signify P.B. is too overvalued as the market median is 18.1 and the median P.E. ratio of the banking industry is around 11.3. One of my favorite ways to gauge the dividend safety of a company is to look at the consecutive number of years they have increased their dividend. And PB's 18 years puts them just seven shy of becoming a dividend champion. These dividend increases have largely been fueled by substantial EPS growth over the past decade, leaving Prosperity Bank shares with a dividend yield of 2.75%. This gives investors an annual payout of $2.08 per share, which is paid quarterly. Another massive hint towards dividend safety is that payout ratio of 37.4%, which conveys the percentage of annual earnings distributed to shareholders. Being so low, PB should be able to continue their large dividend increases explained by the five-year growth rate of 10.31% and CAGR of 12.6% since 2003. Managing the dividend so efficiently has allowed Prosperity Bank shares to build a very strong balance sheet with $1.07 billion in cash on hand and just $494.01 million in debt. Additionally, the price to book ratio of 1.09 communicates that the market price of PB is not overvalued. Such large cash reserves have allowed the company to continue the acquisitions of new assets, and although they have been less efficient in doing so over the past year, PB has kept their total assets above their total liabilities, resulting in a debt-to-assets ratio of 1.35%. These assets have allowed Prosperity Bank shares to generate revenue at large rates with profit margins of 46.31% and operating margins margins of 60.26%. Furthermore, these assets generate returns at a rate of 1.45%, while the equity does so at 8.66%. These profitability metrics are in large part driven by the interest income which PB receives. Their net interest margin, or NIM, is currently 3.11%. NIM expresses the difference between the interest income which PB receives versus the interest they must pay to their consumers. A higher net interest margin signals a company is making better investment choices, and Prosperity Bank shares has been able to stay slightly above the average NIM of U.S. banks. Remember, we are still expecting to see large interest rate hikes by 2023, so I'd like to take a minute and discuss how this affects each individual investment. Although we may see a dip in the net interest margins of banks because there will be a higher demand for savings accounts over loans, the banking industry should still be in a good position to take advantage of this, generating a larger amount of interest income from their large stockpiles of cash. All right, let's talk business operations. Prosperity Bank Shares currently has the third largest market share in Texas. Their 274 full-service locations split between the Lone Star State and Oklahoma are positioned well for increased operations as there has recently been a large influx of people as well as corporations relocating to Texas. As of 2021, Texas currently hosts the headquarters of 49 Fortune 500 companies, making them the third largest state to do so. Although there isn't much geographical diversification, PB, $29.1 billion in total deposits are split appropriately, with 34.7% of them being in non-interest-bearing accounts, while just 21.2% have stated interest rates. Their loan portfolio currently has $19.3 billion in value, with a 4.5% yield reported this past quarter. Additionally, their rate structure weighting is beneficial to hedge against fluctuating interest rates, as they offer both fixed and floating rate loans across a multitude of different categories. The largest of these categories 
categories being commercial real estate, single and multi-unit homes, and construction, which are all even further diversified immensely as well. Prosperity Bank Share's securities portfolio has a total value of $11.9 billion, 93.4% of this or $11.132 billion accounts for mortgage-backed securities, which generate roughly $2.3 billion in annual cash flow. This is mildly concerning to me, however, because rising interest rates negatively affect the value of mortgage-backed securities. It's not a reason to write off PB completely, but keep in mind their average duration of 3.9 years is not short enough to avoid the loss in value, and the corresponding rising yield in the same securities will be a facade. Prosperity Bank Shares has done a phenomenal job since inception in 1998, outpacing the returns of the S&P 500 and NASDAQ Bank Index significantly. Analyst targets are currently designating PB as a soft buy, but the low price target of $26 seems out of place. Pulling up their two-year chart again, we can see Prosperity Bank shares can be susceptible to some crazy price movements, but I'm going to go ahead and label that $26 low price target as some sort of mistake because PB is currently in a bullish trend and hasn't been trading at these prices in over a decade. With that being said, they are approaching the overbought designation by the Purple Relative Strength Index, so keep that in mind before starting a position. I believe Prosperity Bank shares to be a good long-term investment expressed by their strong balance sheet and dividend stats. I would like that dividend yield to be a little bit higher before taking a position so it can beat out inflation, but PB shouldn't stop increasing their dividend for years to come. Additionally, I believe the share price of Prosperity Bank shares will be subject to short-term growth as the future economic climate and rising interest rates will benefit earnings of companies in the banking industry. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more. Let me know down below how much of your portfolio is weighted in the financial sector. As always, I'm Patrick Zimmerman. Thank you for your time and have a nice day.